Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is Saturday, March 15th, 2025, here in South Dakota. Oh my goodness, the wind is blowing. It was probably blowing around 30, 35 miles an hour last night. And not a lot of snow, just some heavy, heavy blowing going on. Last night, there by Oaxaca, Mexico, there was a magnitude 5.6 earthquake. It occurred at 9.19 p.m. local time. Uh, it was interesting because alarms went off in Mexico City. Mexican authorities and USGS said the quake hit near the town of San Miguel, Acaylita. Yeah, sorry for pronouncing that wrong. Mexico. 45 people said that they did feel this earthquake, giving it an intensity level of 4. Here's the felt reports that were sent in to USGS. Yeah, reported all the way up there by Mexico City. Seven reports there, two intensity level, one report three. And then down over here, um, intensity level four, 13. Let's see. Um, intensity level five. Wow. I wonder what type of structure they are living in. Because uh, they would have some light damage felt by most people. Some breakage of dishes, windows, plaster, cracks in the wall, maybe the ceiling. Disturbance of tall objects. Whereas four felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Autos rocked noticeably. Here we have the moment tensor ball. The uh, Mexican president said on X that no damage had been reported. Well, yeah, many of these government officials often downplay earthquakes. But yet he did say that emergency protocols had been activated. The earthquake triggered Mexico City seismic alarm, sending residents briefly into the streets. I have one picture here that was shared on um, Reuters. Yeah, you can see everyone outside. This must have been outside a hotel because it looks like uh, people that work at a hotel, maybe uh, waiters, maitre d's, um, yeah, people that, yeah, see, you can see here we got an apron for possibly a cook. So using Google Earth, here's the location for that magnitude 5.6 earthquake. And up over here, way up over here past uh, the volcano, that is Mexico City depth of about 64 kilometers or about 39 miles. The primary fault system responsible for earthquakes in this region is because it is tied to the subduction where the cocoa plate, let me bring this out, is subducting underneath the North American plate. I do have some arrows drawn out here. The subduction occurs along what's called the Middle American Trench. And that's this area right here. It moves approximately 6 to 7 centimeters per year. And that drives significant seismic and volcanic activity in southern Mexico, including Oaxaca. Given the depth of this earthquake, which is about um, 34 miles or 64 kilometers, this earthquake may be associated with interplate deformation with the subduction or subducting cocos plate rather than a shallow thrust uh, fault directly at the uh, plate boundary. Oaxaca's seismic history shows frequent, moderate, too strong earthquakes due to the tectonic setting. For instance, a magnitude 6.0 quake struck 12 kilometers northwest um, of this location. I'm, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Oh, what the heck? I'll try and butcher it. Uh, Matias um, Romero Avadero, and that was October of uh, 2023. It was revised. Uh, USGS has it as a magnitude 5.9. That was on October um, 7th. In 1985, there was a magnitude 8.0. They call it the Mexico City earthquake, but you can see it's quite a ways. Um, southwest of Mexico City. In fact, uh, 236.27 miles 
or let's go to kilometers um, 300.24 kilometers here are some of the felt reports that were sent in to EMSC um, here it says it caught them off guard um, and took a time to calm down we have another one that says they were in the third maybe the third floor um, he stepped on and felt strong and long another one very noticeable shaking for about 10 seconds um, a strong pull and was felt heard the alarm didn't feel any mov movement now that would have been the alarm that was sounded in Mexico City another one felt I mean this was 222 kilometers so that would be about 137 miles you know no one's talking about how the core of the earth is also heating up yeah and with heat things expand and with the weakening of our magnetic field we're gonna uh, see more and more earthquakes they uh, become more susceptible so we got two things that they often do not talk about another report says he felt small slight as a feeling of dizziness and well they felt dizzy and when I saw the ceiling lamps they were moving very very little now that was uh, 230 kilometers so that would be about 143 miles um, another one says felt um, slight shaking for about five seconds and uh, we felt the pull while watching television um, it was mild my relatives are talked I feel the earthquake I don't know yeah different reports I woke up to a car alarm and the bed feeling like it was jiggling but not overly noticed well, well yeah a little tongue-tied here here's another report from Mexico City nothing was felt in Mexico City but yet they did sound the alarm yeah the, yeah the destruction that could happen would be tremendous and loss of life and injuries so it's good they're prepared but they're saying there was no damage but yeah there was some light damage you know the last time that um, there was a magnetic pole reversal um, the continents actually moved and we've been seeing more and more of these interplate earthquakes reactivation of ancient fault lines from when the last time that the magnetic field here on earth um, yeah reversed we're, we're seeing that again um, yeah just an indication of some big things are coming Yeah, be prepared have your hard hat make sure you have everything bolted to the studs of your walls nothing large that can fall on you when you're either sleeping or watching TV or having dinner yeah have those bookcases bolted have a tool to turn off your gas and water a lot of um, earthquakes cause fires so what are your thoughts if you have family down there did they feel this earthquake yeah it's it's right here uh, please put your information down below thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later God bless you bye